So if London isn't a case study, another case study you can revise is Bristol, which is where we are based in red and green. OK, um, first thing you need to know about urban issues in the UK is that 82 percent of people in the UK live in urban cities. Uh, you get 32 uh, percent of us live in the southeast of England, um, whilst other parts of the UK are sparsely populated. Um, in the reason why Bristol matters as a case study is of a HIC country and uh, city, sorry, is that it's based in the southwest of England. It's connected to London by the M4, it's connected to Manchester and the southwest with the M4. Five. It's at the crossroad of these two huge motorways. Um, Bristol Airport connects Bristol to Europe and the wider world. Avonmouth is one of the biggest ports in the country. For example, 25% of all the kerosene fuel that comes to Heathrow Airport arrives in Avonmouth. Um, uh, high levels of foreign direct investment with Airbus, uh, BMW, Siemens. You've got the MOD. You've got um, you have lots of um, law firms. And Bristol University is one of the best in the country. It's in part of the Russell Group. It attracts lots of students. Okay. Um, Bristol has been shaped by migration, whether that's, uh, you've got a picture here of, of St. Paul's Carnival, uh, which uh, celebrates uh, West Indies culture. Um, and so you've got a lot of uh, migration from uh, Jamaica um, that came to St. Paul's area of Bristol with the Windrush generation. You've also got a lot of EU migration um, in Avonmouth uh, linked to the expansion and Polish immigration arriving. You've got people like me who are French who've moved there because of the French companies uh, that settled in Bristol. Um, it's put pressure on housing. It's also uh, me, men, the population has doubled. Um, uh, uh, but it has led to massive diversity and co uh, it allows some, for some cultural integration. Okay, Opportunities of Bristol is that there's um, government grants 100 million to increase uh, internet speeds. There's a huge focus on quaternary sector industries. Ardman Animation is the, uh, is the company that makes Wallace and Gromit. Tertiary sectors such as EE call center based here. High tech secondary sectors such as aerospace, and MOD and uh, defense. Environmentally, is, it was Bristol European capital in 2015. It reduced energy consumption by 30% and CO2. 30% of the city is covered by trees. We've got over 300 parks. It's a very green city. Socially, Bristol Sport is huge. It's an actually, uh, it's a company that's owned by um, uh, Mr. Ash uh, Ashdown. I think so. Um, um, and he um, he's basically owns Bristol Flyers, Bristol Bears, Bristol City, uh, and Ashton Gate. They're going to completely redevelop the Ashton Gate area, so they're going to have the basketball team, football team, and rugby team play together. They've got some brand new facilities. We've got Cap Circus and Cribs Causeway, which are two huge um, shopping centres. Um, and I know the textbook talks about the UE uh, Stadium for Bristol Rovers, but that's got that's collapsed as a, as a uh, project, so it's not going to be happening. Okay, the, uh, the Ashton Gate redevelopment is going to be mighty. Um, they are challenges though. Uh, the main challenges is um, environmental. 31% uh, of journeys take longer in the morning because of terrible traffic congestion. Uh, we've got a lot of derelict industrial sites in the city centre that had to be regenerated. We produce a ridiculous amount of waste. Um, socially, there's a big divide within Bristol, the Stoke Bishop versus the Philwood. Uh, in Stoke Bishop, 81% of people own their homes, life expectancy is above 80, there's less than 300 crimes per, uh, per year, unemployment rate is low, it's university attendance is high. Philwood is pretty much the exact opposite. It's in south of the city and it's, um, it's a lot more uh, white working class British compared to Stoke Bishop, which is more uh, white middle class British. Okay. Um, urban sprawl, uh, as Bristol has grown, we haven't built up, we've spread out. Uh, you've got a picture here of Filton Airport, which is where the Aerospace Museum is. Fan fascinating to go to if you haven't been. But we having to find new space places to uh, extend the city. That has meant the development of Brady Stoke, um, Harry Stoke and... Um, and Filton areas, we're starting to build uh, houses on the Filton, old Filton Airport, which is where the last Concorde landed. Charlton Hayes is a good example of it. Okay, so we're kind of trying to build on brown field sites like the airport rather than green field sites itself. Okay, um, Bristol Harbour side is the best example of regeneration. Um, it was Bristol overtook uh, Liverpool overtook Bristol because of the tidal river meant boats couldn't arrive into Bristol. Uh, all day long, they had to wait for the high tides, which was great when you had cell power, but as soon as steam power arrived, it was an in inconvenience. Boats were too big to fit down the River Avon, it was heavily bombed. The advantage of the regeneration is it, it, it means that we've got um, lots of investment. Lloyds Bank, uh, M Shed, Arnold Feeney, SS Great Britain on our tourist destinations. We get 1 million visitors per year since the year 2000. It's created thousands of jobs, uh, but it hasn't improved traffic congestion, and all the buildings built there are being very expensive. Okay, we did a field trip there. You probably will have, you can use some knowledge from that field trip, but on the whole, it has it has improved the area, but at a cost, okay? And then the last bits you need to learn in um, LICs, uh, HIC, sorry, is, is sustainability of transport. You've got a few facts here about Freiburg and London. I'll let you read through about how it's improved, 